Hi, I'm horror author Matthew R. Fleming, and I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce myself. Uh, I've been writing uh, for quite a while. I've been writing for probably uh, 10 years, um, but not really professionally. Um, I only recently, within the past year, decided to sit down and uh, see what I could do as far as writing a horror novel. Uh, I, within the past year, I wrote my debut novel, The Dreams, which is available on Amazon, as well as other uh, retailers. Um, I live in Northern Illinois with my wife and six cats and three dogs. Uh, I'm an avid Stephen King fan, and I read a little Dean Koontz. Uh, from time to time, I will read uh, Edgar Allan Poe, and I'll jump into a little bit of H.P. Uh, Lovecraft. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to read you a section from my book, uh, The Dreams. Hopefully you will enjoy it. If it's something that you think you like, then you can always pick it up. It's $2.99 on Amazon uh, and most digital retail stores. Paul watched in horror as something massive and cloaked moved just outside of his vision in the forest. It was unlike anything he had ever seen. The space that it took up in the darkness of the forest gave away only that it was at least twice the size of an average man. The creature turned to where Paul watched and, with a sudden movement, lashed out with something that it had under its cloak. He heard a loud crack and then felt a shower of thick liquid pour down on him, as if he had just been sprayed with a garden hose where he hid. Terrified, Paul jumped to his feet and started running back towards the path. As Paul ran, the only sound he could hear was, the rapid, was his rapid breathing. He looked down at his hands and shirt and saw that he was covered in a thick, dark red substance. It looked like fresh blood. He was suddenly aware that something huge was behind him and getting closer with each step as he ran. Paul stumbled and fell over a tree branch. He jumped up and continued running, willing himself not to look back at his pursuer, afraid that he would fall again and the creature would have him. As Paul neared the path, he heard a terrible shriek come from just ahead of him followed by a blinding light, which lit the forest up. Paul's heart skipped a beat as he remembered that he had left Michael on the path. He tore through the last of the branches on his way as they cut and stung his face and emerged alone on the path. As Paul looked around, he shouted in a frantic voice, Michael, into the deafening silence. No sound returned. He then noticed a strong odor of something burning. That was when he saw the charred circle on the ground. As Paul ran closer to the circle, he noticed it was smoldering as if it had recently been on fire. Paul drew within feet of the circle, and he noticed small droplets of red speckling on the ground around the circle. Paul began to slow down in shock as he saw that the entire circle was soaked in what looked like blood. He realized he was steadily grown colder and looked quickly up the road. If you want to find out what happens to Paul, pick up my book. You can find more information about it at MatthewRFleming.com.